And after a rough start, we got started. Kindness is the Your short... team is banning. This is Sicily to the side of the left side. And the right side, we've got Shugan again. Shugan. Your team up. is banning. Oh, not bad. And the Yuzon, the Mushu gets banned on the side. A punch for a punch. Your team is banning. Pekita Man, the OP hero on the side gets banned on the Pekita side for the side of Sicily. And Xborg gets banned on the side the of Shu Gang. And Your Ruby. team is picking. One of the most OP fighters of this season has been banned for the side of Shugain, and they've taken her out of the action ring. And the first pick for Sicily, what will it be? We've got the rats open, and we've got all kinds of juicy tanks and mages. I might not be alive. Your team is picking. Woohoo, that's a sussy, sussy move. The rats first pick, I even after that nerf. <laughs> Always on the way. Mathilda gets instant lock on the, the side. The sky tells all. Your team hey. is picking. And as Marauder gets picked once again, this looks like a mirror reflection of the last match we had for Shu Gang. They picked up their Esmeralda and they picked up their Mathilda once more. And we've got Raffaella on the side with the Barats. It's a good wombo combo, I have to say for that too. We've got a Barats and a Raffaella. She's got the sun Gaze and he's the got the damage. And we got and now a Lou Yi. <laughs> oh. Your team oh. is picking. Okay, okay. We've got the one one for the Shayu. Okay, okay. And she's got Inspire. Out of all the spells she could have picked, she picked Inspire. You know, let's do a reasonable thing though. You can bypass all that defense from the Esmeralda was that. So perhaps that's a legitimate gaming plan. Okay. Your team is banning. They're really sticking with their comfort picks, aren't they? They picked up the Esmeralda, they picked up the Fasher, and they picked up that Mathilda. I guarantee Mathilda's good at math. And she's going to be destroying the enemy's early game with that soul blue. But you know, Fozax is a Even really... the strongest of Your team players. is banning. Fozax is just such a really passive player. So she's not going to be abusing that soul bloom. She's going to be using that soul bloom to help her core to farm that jungle. Tremble in my Your brother. team is picking. And Phobius gets taken out along with Bane. Bane is something that... Uh, this squad was using as the jungler before. You can see now that Bane's taken out. Uh, the Flicker's been taken out of Tim Tam's build and has been replaced I by... I see lots of prey. Your team is picking. Retribution. And Raffaella gets picked up again as another option for the side of Sicily. And Estus being considered. Mighty fine consideration, I'd have to say. Estus getting picked on the sides. Cheeky little taunt. Oh, all oh right. Hello, my friend. This land is our homeland. Wait, Your team is so picking. Okay, I can I can see that working. They've got a tanky lapu lapu. Lapu only needs one damage item, and that would be bloodthirsty axe, and that should be enough for the lapu, unless he wants to get the wall axe as well. That's fine. And he's tanky, he's got CC, but not much instant CC. He can clear the lanes, push the lanes well, but you can't really depend on Lapu Lapu to defend uh, Lu Yi or uh, the Wan Wan on the back lane side. So if that Kaja goes in on the back lanes, you know, uh, he's not going to be able to do much. Estus but once that Kaja is fully built on the magic damage, he can't save Lu Yi or the one one. Okay, we got uh let's see. Tim Tam on the Barats, Shayu on the one one, Lapu on the Maze, Marlene on the Lu Yi, Estes on the Astula, Roger on the Beast, Zidane on the Kaja, and Frasher on the Majuko. And Sins back on the Esme. Thick, thick, thick. And Builder played by Welcome to Mobile Legends. Forecast. Looking at this lineup. Five seconds till the enemy reaches the battlefield. Smash them. From an analyst perspective. All troops deployed. The team that is going to be taking this wing home today is going to be. 
Wait, what? 283 MS? No, really? Okay, okay. Okay, th there seems to be some technical issues that have been happening. Inside the team for Sicily. This is the second time this week they've had an internet connection issue. So we're just going to pause it for like two to three minutes, see if we can work this out. Uh, maybe some. I'll just have a talk to the teams uh, on this side we can fix without resetting the match. That would be... Alright, let's have a little peeky peek. Where are they? All right, and after a little roughy start, we've got started back in this match. Oh, good thing. That live is still working. Okay, let's get back to the action. On Roger, on the side top lane at a level 2. He's got a red buff, but no blue buff. Fozax just zoning the side and using that soul bloom to help her call Roger farm that jungle a little extra faster. And Fasha on the back sides just waiting for a golden opportunity to clear those lanes. And we got 50 seconds incoming on that turtle suit on the side. So we don't need to worry too much until the first turtle comes up. They haven't got ultimate. Nobody's got ultimate. But Fasha. Oh damn, an early clash. That's a cheeky clash. And Fasha, oh, wasted a flick, unfortunately. That's a four-man team gank on the bot lane. And was 25 seconds on the turtle. They better be moving up this side to get to that juicy turtle soup. This is the first objective. And nobody wants to leave that turtle soup behind. After all, it's not a matter of one dollar. Not a matter of five dollar. It's a matter of gold 100 or 200 or 300 gold you don't know you, oh okay and Fozax gets swallowed and pushed to the side and that damage goes down and they shove it down and Lu Yi secures the first kill on that Matilda Roger hiding on the side just waiting was that retribution to try steal that turtle or lord but it's honestly going to be pretty difficult the execution point on the palazzo is his uh, ultimate oh and he's going in and esmeralda goes in and damn that's a kill that's a kill on the roger roger gets mm, okay that's a double kill and a lord securely stolen that was a good move on Beast. He didn't wait for the last second. He went in quite early and he got the support he needed from the side was the gank from the far side of Esmeralda. She provided that support magnificently. And Esmeralda just pushing on the top lane. You've got Kaji on the bottom lane with that 1-1. One -one. This is pretty hard for the 1-1. One 1-1's -one. One -one's going to be calling 9-1-1 because Kaji's going to be abusing that lane. Alright, we got Roger on the top side and he secures the Lethal Wanderer with his retribution. He's got a say he's on a uh, eighteen stacks, seventeen? The size says seventeen, eighteen. Alright, that's getting close to twenty-five stacks. Good defense and good extra damage. Ooh, what's this? You got a little bush camp. Ah, uh, but 911? No, what's your emergency? She knows what's up. Unfortunately, that's the ultimate wasted on the side of Barlats, and Fasha has to go back after wasting that first skill. <laughs> Lu Yi on the mid lane can't go anywhere. She can't protect her lanes or go out. 
she's gonna be camped by that Fashu a lot. And look at that, that's a two man vs a three man combat action. Oh no, 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 look at that damage. The Soul Bloom and Ancestral Guidance from the Mathilda with her team on the Roger gets that kill on the 1 1 like it's paper. And Mathilda goes in with another Soul Bloom, but unfortunately, Perlatz is there to save the day and make sure his mage doesn't get killed. But look at that four man action just to get that kill on the Perlatz, but I don't know, very fortunately for that Perlatz, his Estus is there to make sure he just stays alive just a little longer. And Roger. Oh, May's saying there's a little MS issue, um, but unfortunately that's a internet aspect. We can't do much about that, unfortunately. Fasha getting ready to camp that Lapu Lapu. And Asuka on the Esme not giving any hints to the actions or where her team at. Uh, oh, but Fasha shows herself. And this is the second objective. Oh, okay, the turtle gets reset. Esmeralda goes in on the side and gets Lapu Lapu. And Barat. He's losing out on these stacks, mm. that, but that's close to 25 stacks, that's close to my sta max stacks. Looking at the spells, only Lapu does not have his flicker, everyone else has their spells. And that is the second turtle, secure to the side of Sicily. Um, Mathilda and Sins, they're going in, they're tanky, they're good for days. But Lu Yi gets the little damage on the Mathilda, but the Mathilda escapes. And Roger goes back and gets a little extra farm on the blue box. Alright, and Esmeralda going back to the top lane to push that turret in. Roger to the side of the back lanes, securing another Lethal Wanderer to his EXP ATM. Barats just getting a little bit more EXP, you know, just to get a bit more tankier. Kajo on the side of the top lanes. Mm, he's a bit low, but you know, Zidane's fine. He's not gonna die. He's got Flicker on his side and teammates to support his back lane asses. Alright, we got four people on the bot lane and... And unfortunately, uh, Lapu Lapu can't do much against the Esmeralda at this point, and they're gonna be losing the middle turret as well. And look at that. Uh, middle turret has been secured to the side of Shu Gains, and unfortunately, the blue buff uh, gets uh, has to be sacrificed for that, but you know, that's fine. He's got the middle turret, that's probably the most important turret for the red buff and the blue buff, so not really a huge loss. Oh, he swallowed the Roger, and Sin goes in from the back lines. That was a beautiful kite. And Lapo Lapo just going in stunning, but unfortunately there is no damage. Mm, there's a lot of hope, there's a lot of despair, and it's all relying on their 1-1. One, one. Can their 1-1 one, one pull through? Or with a Fosher, with the long range magic damage, take down that 1-1 one, one, along with the Kaja. 1-1 one, one is the only threat for their late game successful winning of the match. And look at that. Uh, Kaja just camping at the bushes. And this is the third turtle objective. And unfortunately it seems they know exactly where that Roger is. And they secure the th third turtle. Oh, look at that Alderman. 1-1 one, one knows what she's doing. She gets a solo kill on that Kaja. That was a miracle one. Lapu Lapu and Asuka Sin just are fighting it out, boarding it out on the top lane. Unfortunately, it seems Lapu has to go run away. And Barats, he secures a kill on their tank Mathilda. Thankfully, Mathilda hasn't got too many kills, so her gold count is still at two deaths. One death, actually. Hmm. Oh, and Roger going in. Mmm, he's got map hacks or something. He found that uh, Lapu. And we got some double double action. Two on two. And oh, shut down on Lu Yi. And look at that. Barat secures another kill. Oh, but he let him go. That's unfortunate. He was trying to do a stun on the Fasha, but unfortunately, Fasha just went away a little too fast. Kaja in the middle lane. Once more. And Barats, he sees that for sure. And he wants some of that action, but unfortunately, Fashi just runs away a bit too fast. 
You notice how Shuge, none of them actually has a Purify, which is good. And Esme on the top side of lanes. They're going over, but ah, Sins knows what's up. His map awareness is off the charts. He couldn't get a kill on it, mm, unfortunately. And Mathilda just zoning out the bushes. No one wants to go near that Mathilda, but uh, unfortunately. And Fasha on the side. And she starts using that ultimate. Look at that. She's won that clash from so far away. And now Roger can go in with his Roger passive. Oh no, but Roger goes back. Mm, and they got the hot target bogey. They got the two most wanted targets. They got the core and the main damage dealer of 1-1. One, one. Lu Yi desperately trying to take some kills. And oh, that is unfortunate. That's a four man down. That's four spring lows down for one spring low. Good, good deal. Esme just on the side. Trying to make sure that... Esme's trying to push that Taradine solo. Oh, and she's going to get some gold. Nobody can stop her. Lapu probably only got one damage item. Nah, he's got two damage items. But he can't do much against the Esmeralda. Only one one can do something at this point. Okay, Roger. Roger backing off, getting the gold he needs. And the turtle, or the lord, is up now. This is only a 1030 lord. So, there's not too much problems about that just yet. It's only a 10 minute lord. But you're still going to lose 2 to 3 turrets over that. And Baralance on the side with Estus. Oh, looks like they'll be going in to challenge for that Lord. Going in, going in. Estus on the side. No one's going after the Estus. Oh, look at that Kaja cutting from the back lands. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Unfortunately, Roger gets away with that movement speed. Hunters move steps. They lost their Estus over that. They shouldn't really be fighting. They're just trying to get a little something back to make it easier to defend their side lanes. But Shu Gang is not giving them that option. Look at Lapu just trying to clear one of their lanes on the side so they can protect some of their turrets. But unfortunately, Lapu does not have that option. Lapu just oh, desperately trying, it was his vain attempts to get that lane cleared, but Esme just chases him off. And look at that, Roger. Roger going in, just a little poke. Look at that, three people just going straight for that 1-1. One, one. Is he going to do a flicker in? A flicker in. That's some three-man action. That's some three-man action on the 1-1. One, one. We should be calling 9-1-1. Surely that's not legal. And Roger escapes. Damn, Esther secures the kill on the Roger. And Esmeralda goes in. We lost two turrets. And that's two more turrets gone. With one inner turret gone, now missing. Hmm... Oh, Mathilda's in a little jam. And Estus secures another kill. And Fasher secures another kill on that Lu Yi. Looking at the spells they have, there's two spells readily available to the side of Sicily. And Shu Gain uh, has two spells left as well. But, yeah. At this point, they're... Sicily doesn't have any damage to go against shoe games. There's just no options here. Like, uh, I get the one one's got the Inspire, but... Yeah, you know, there could be something that's going to be happening. Maybe shoe games will get a little overconfident. And, and they might go into the side of the enemy's maps. Who knows? 1-1, one, one, though, is going to be the real game changer. And Fasha lowered the enemy's t uh, HP enough. And look at that, Roger going in and securing the kill on the Lugi. Oh, no, and he backs off. He knows he doesn't want to. 
But that one one is getting picked off so hard. All that hope just laying on that one one. It's unfortunate how the enemy is just targeting her at this point because Lu Yi can't do much now. She hasn't gotten much late game damage. The problem is that Bane got banned. That was probably their main hero for using. Mm, oh, oh, and that flicker escapes and Roger. Ooh, Roger goes in and no one can stop that Roger. There is no CC to stop Roger from escaping from the side of the bot lane. And Esmeralda, ooh, she goes back. Mm, but you know, Sicily should be rather safe in their turrets. As long as they don't go out, they're safe. Damn, that magic damage on the Farsha. Hey! There's the magic damage.